Hey, what is up, disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, we are playing a round at Hornet's Nest, all 18 holes, with a full Castaplast bag. I also got the brand new Nord from Castaplast, which is a really cool and fun disc. Today I'll be throwing a Yarn, a Berg, a Stig, a Guild, I have a Crute there, and then obviously the brand new Nord. Um, those are all discs that Power Grip USA gave me. And then I also had some super fun original gems from my old collection. I have the Let's K2 uh, Falc. I've got my old Glow Stig. I really like throwing that disc. Very laser beam straight. I've got a first run Yote or Goat or however you want to say it. Let's see what else I have here. What else do I have here? I've got a couple. I have a whole slew of Bergs. I've got the K1 Berg. I've got my old K3 Berg, which... I do believe is the first disc golf disc I've ever, I ever purchased in my life. Then I have a K2 Berg, and then I have the old Pine Green Brunnerico. Anyway, 18 holes, cast plus only at Hornet's Nest. Please like the video. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let's get after it. Stig is a 6.5 minus 2.1. Hopefully you get a little flip up here. Oh! My backhand's been feeling very solid lately. That's a, that's a strong start. Well, this is a strong start. We've absolutely parked the Stig, put it in with the Pine Green Brunna Rico. I'm actually excited to putt with this thing today just because you just don't see a lot of like pine green discs and this shimmery gold stamp just looks absolutely fire on the pine disc. And hole two is gonna potentially be perfect for the Nord. We've got a 5403. I usually throw my overstable nine speed and go too far. So I'm thinking this Nord should be absolutely perfect for this forehand hyzer line. Oh yeah, she's a beef dog. That's gonna be a hot start. That's absolutely parked for two under par. All right, the Nord actually carried a touch farther than I expected it to. We've got a tricky little straddle here. So wasn't absolutely parked, but that's still two under par. Had to work for it a little bit. That's a good confidence builder. Let's go. Hole three is a 516 foot par four. We're gonna go to the glow stig here. All we need is a little bit of turn. Beat it. Oh, it's the last tree. I'm gonna try one of these new drivers. All right, I'm gonna take a little drop. I don't think you guys wanna watch me scramble. I wanna get another Nord shot in, so. Baskets through this little central gap and then over to the right. Smack. Hole four, 625 foot par four. Um, we're gonna try out the guild and then we'll try out the crute and see if we can get it to go straight before it fades for a little bit. Whoa, she's beefy. That's a really good sign because it's Castaplast. Never really had very stable discs in the lineup, so I'm actually excited to see that that had some good fade on it. All right, Crute. Put this on a little bit of Anheuser. Oh. All right, the Guild is way more stable than the Crute. Um, the Crute's definitely a little bit more pushy than the flight numbers would indicate, and the Guild was probably a bit more stable than the numbers would indicate. All right, this guild was way more stable than the crew, so let's try and forehand it into the green there. I mean, that thing's an be absolute beefcake. All right, hole five is a 258-foot par three. We've got the Nord here. This is going to be the real test of the Nord. I'm going to put it up in the air, give it a little baby flex. Let's see if it has the stability to come back. Now fade. I'm going to skip. Nice, absolutely parked. Okay, so the Nord is definitely stable enough. I wouldn't consider it a full-on beef dog, but it's stable enough. Now let's see if we can also park it with the Stig. Oh! Stig parked, and then the Nord also parked. So far, really liking the Nord. This really fulfills a massive gap in the Castaplast lineup. Now we just need to see a 7502 from them and they almost have a complete lineup finally. All right, hole six is 321 feet. 
Let's see if we can get this crew there. I actually think I like how it flies. I just didn't expect it to be this straight based on the numbers. Like that goes quite a bit straighter than most 12404s, but that's gonna be absolutely parked. Let's try out. For those of you OG Cast of Blast fans, I gotta throw this K2 Falc a few times as well. The old poison green. Inside route, also parked. Let's go. All right, we got two shots inside the circle. We got the Falc right here. We've got the crew right here. Let's see if the pine can seal the deal on another birdie. It's almost time to enter a tournament locally soon. My game's feeling better right now than it's felt in a very long time. Hitting a lot more lines, getting a lot more birdies. Putts are coming out nice and flat. Just feeling like I'm really onto something right now. All right, hole seven, we got a 584 foot par four. We're going back to this guild here. This is my signature hole to turn it over into the road, skip off the road and lose my disc forever. So hopefully it's stable enough. Oh yes, that guild is very stable. That's a premium drive. All right, we're back into Nord range. It's a bit far for the Nord, but it's a good shot shape. We want to go straight for a while, but then have a nice hard dump to the right to give us a circle's edge putt at the birdie. Come on, get beefy. Skip. Hey, that is a solid, super torque resistant, overstable mid range. Hole eight, one of my favorite holes on the course. It's a 534 foot par four. We'll go back to this K1 Stig. This thing is an absolute certified beauty. I have no doubt it's gonna hyzer flip and go dead straight. I have no doubt. The Stig is like the perfect six speed, man. It's so good, Stig to Stig. All right, stig, stig. No! Hole nine, 312 feet. Fade. Fade. Oh. I mean, it's absolutely parked, but it wasn't an ace. Fortunately, we got this close enough to where I can't miss with the Pine Rico. Hopefully. Another birdie. All right, hole 10, almost an impossible par three. Stig, oh, this hole is so tough. All right, we hit this tree, but we are in an excellent spot to try and flex this Nord into the green. She's a beauty. Oh, I hit the last tree, that's so unlucky. Huge putt for the Rico here. Oh, swing. Oh, let's go. Hole 11, 314 foot par three. We're gonna try and we have two options, right or left. We're gonna go left. Hopefully this foul flips up and gets us to the pin. Yep. Yep. Woo! This is not a hole I get very often, so to park hole 11 with the foul is absolutely huge. Let's go, another big birdie. This is actually sick. I'm having a good time with these castoplast discs. Throwing an absolute heater with these castoplast discs. Actually, having a great time. Hole 12, absolute bomb of a par five, 819 feet. We'll go with the Crute Flex. <sighs> That's bad. Oh, that actually might be in birdie territory. Flex that pretty hard. All right, after the most pathetic looking flex shot of all time, we are potentially in range for the birdie. We're gonna go with the huge Stig turnover with the glow Stig. I think that'll play. Overturn the Stig a little bit too much. See if we can throw the cut roller with the Nord up to the basket here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 
why would I ever just not do that? That was amazing. That's parked. Might be a little short, but that's a good shot. All right, not exactly parked, but we dropped one of these bombs earlier. Go. Oh, that was a good effort. Hole 14, 250, another great opportunity for this Nord. I've really been enjoying this. This I've been toying with a bunch of different overstable mids. This one might make the bag. This is very reliable. Super happy that Castaplast made a stable disc. All right, we kicked a lucky tree, put ourselves inside the circle. Yo. Putter's rocking today. All right, hole 15, we're here. This is the, the gauntlet at Hornet's Nest, one of the most famous holes in the course. I actually feel really good about getting the stig through this gap. Oh, barely a hair too much to the right. All right, the stig landed like inside this tree here, but it means it's perfect time to throw another one, one of these Nord flexes. Swing. Oh yeah, that's putting. Honestly, on hole 15 at Hornet's Nest, a, a three is pretty solid on this hole. So we'll take it. Stig Nord, Rico, par. That'll absolutely play. Gotta try the goat. It's like the most awkward feeling disc. Babe. That's kind of nice. <laughs> All right, the goat put us into circle two. Let's see if we can knock down another Lazat standstill flexor. Oh, off the center of the band. I, the goat flew really nicely on that shot. It's a little more stable than I remember. It's uh, kind of has a very similar profile to like a shark three. It's kind of got a bizarre wing shape on the bottom here. It's very similar to a shark or a shark three, but like a super domey version. It's also like giant large diameter disc. All right, hole 17. It's about 300 feet. We're going to go with the flippy stig. See if we can just keep it as straight as humanly possible. Oh, a little too much flip. The flippy stig do be flipping. All right. St stable stig. Oh, same exact line. All right, we're in a tricky spot here. Got a weird little straddle. Just got to put it up in the air. Trust the stability of the Rico. Oh, I like that line. All right, this is new hole 18 at Hornet's Nest. You just got to hit the gap and then turn to the right through that gap and you'll get yourself a birdie look if you throw it 320 feet. Oh, see, that's too much fade at the end, but that's not a bad shot. All righty, last putt of the day, lemon pepper stepper. Oh no, that's disastrous on the final hole. Oh no. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for today's round. I mean, the star of the show is obviously going to be the new Nord. Clocking in at that 5403, extremely dependable, very little turn. And as long as it doesn't beat in and start like flipping up or holding turn for longer than I would like, this is definitely going to have the potential of going into my main bag. One thing about Castaplast discs. Um, even ever since they started being produced by Latitude 64, they always have such smooth edges, no flashing, and they really do seem to be one of the most premium brands on the market. Um, they've obviously had their molding issues over the years and have struggled to make overstable discs. Um, they have not made that mistake with the Nord. This is going to be an absolute staple in any Castaplast player's bag. Um, just a few honorable mentions. Um, I didn't throw the yarn or the Berg today. So if you guys want to see a yarn and berg only round at a pitch and putt course I have locally, let me know in the comments section down below. So let's go to some of the honorable mentions. The Stig, I feel like I'm an absolute menace on the fairways with the Stig. I absolutely enjoy throwing the Stig very, very much. Just those hyzer flips to dead straight. It's just one of those discs that makes disc golf easy. 
And I feel like people try to bag discs that are almost too much disc for their arm speed. And the Stig is not one of those discs. The Stig is something you just put it out on a slight hyzer. It's going to pop up. It's going to go straight through most of the flight, but it's not going to be so flippy to where it turns all the way over. And you saw that glow stick I have. It used to fly like this one, but it's beat in and it's a little bit flippier now. So that would be a really fun one-two punch to have in the main bag if I ever wanted to go the route of bagging the Stig full time. But I really love this K1 orange Stig. It just looks sick. I love this orange with the matte black stamp. Just point and shoot fairway driver. It's just so good. And then the last two discs I want to talk about, we've got the Guild and the Crute. Um, the Guild coming in at a 13.5 minus 0.53. Nice little dome on it. Goes pretty far. Very overstable. Probably too stable for my arm speed. Um, there's a few other discs in the driver slot that I'm enjoying more right now. But if you need a stable disc and you're bagging Grimm's and Grimm X's and you need that beefy option, the Guild is going to be a really great option for that. And then we have the pink K1 Crute 12404. I actually think this has much more distance potential than the Guild. I think the Crute is one of those discs that it's like I can trust it on Anheuser and it's going to pan for a while and still fight out. But it's definitely not as stable as some of the 12404s from other brands that are also on the market. But two honorable mentions, definitely worth talking about. Um, the new Nord, probably the MVP for the day right alongside the Stig. I really enjoyed throwing all the discs from Casta Plus today. If you want to check out any of these discs, you can get them over at Power Grip USA. You can use my discount code Iceberg10 to save 10% on anything over at their website. And then my Minty, I mean, if you're a Casta Plus player and you don't have a Minty Berg's bag, I mean, what, what, what bag are you, could you possibly use instead of this? That makes more sense. This is a beautiful minty bag. Your Castaplast discs are going to look amazing in this bad boy. You can save 20% on this or over $40 over at bergsdisksports.com by using my discount code ICE20. The link for that is in the description below as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.